Well, I guess it's that time again. Time for a new video. I've got to feed those vultures. Let's see. My Rocket League crates video is doing well. My Pokemon Go video, that's doing okay. Oh, my Rocket League guide video, that's doing really well. So let's see what's next on the list. Oh, it looks like cringy YouTubers is next. Wait, 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 wait. Mike, you're telling me that you're getting all of these views from Rocket League and you're just going to abandon that right now to make a cringy YouTuber video? Uh, yeah, basically. But then why does anybody even subscribe to this channel? I don't have a clue. But hold on, before I make this video, I really just want to play a little bit of my favorite game, Call of duty. Let me just grab my Doritos real quick. Of course, my uh, Mountain Dew Gamer Fuel. Alright, I think I'm ready to play. Alrighty. <gasps> Is that a girl? Oh no, 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 no. Is that a girl? Is that a female? No, not in my lobby. No, please, no. No cooties allowed in here, boys. Games are for guys and guys alone. Guys, guys, everybody, start harassing her until she leaves our Dorito eaten, do sipping, Overwatch jerking, Bombay sipping, Fedora tipping lobby. Yeah, don't you just hate when girls are gamers? <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Did you just say that you didn't give a shit? Wow, you must not be a real gamer then. You must not be a part of nerd culture. Or at least according to a recent video I've seen by a super cringy transgender YouTuber named Riley. So you you guys know how I like to make off-topic videos about feminists and stuff like that every once in a while. You know, I like to change things up. I like to spice up the channel a little bit. I mean, you guys liked the feminist videos, so obviously I'm going to try and milk this. But today I wanted to talk about the fact that there are still feminists and retarded people out there that think that guys give a shit about girls that play video games. I mean real girls that play video games too. I'm not talking gamer grills. Like this, this is not a gamer girl. This is not a gamer girl either. Neither is this one or this one. Definitely not this one. I'm talking about a female. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Somebody who identifies as a female, I meant to say, and just likes going home and playing a little bit of video games. Maybe playing a little bit of The Sims, maybe playing a little bit of that Skyrim game. Who knows, maybe even playing a little Cory in the house. Anyways, I want everybody to check out this video by my boy. Hold on, not boy. I meant to say uh, my... Um my uh this youtuber named riley here is his video about us disgusting fat gamers and our terribly sexist nerd culture yes 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 shoot 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 Okay, well, we're starting off really good. He's really relating to the community because nobody plays games like this. I mean, just look at what he's doing to this poor controller right now. Oh, you've never played the game? Push every button on the controller like you're having a Tourette's episode? Oh, it's one of my favorite games. You play video games? And you're a girl? <gasps> What an accurate representation of gamers and gamer grills. You know, I don't even think I could count the amount of times that I'm just like walking down a hallway and then this girl's like, I play games. And then I just straight up pass out on the floor. Hey humans, so I've got a problem. I'm a really huge nerd, but I'm also a really huge feminist. Now I know that doesn't sound like a problem. I mean, after all, they're completely unrelated things. One's about enjoying certain video games and movies and TV shows, and the other one is about creating equality and acceptance for all kinds of people. No, 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 not even close, buddy. Nope, not gonna happen. Feminism is about equality. It's about acceptance and everybody is equal and butterflies and rainbows and everybody gets first place and we all win. Isn't feminism just the best thing that was ever invented. It's the greatest thing on earth. Look, a rainbow. I love everybody equally, except men. I hate men. God, I hate men, especially cisgender men. Straight cisgender white men. Oh my God, they're the worst. But unfortunately, there's been this string of anti-feminist thought going on in nerd culture, and I've tried to avoid it for a long time, but now I think it's just time I confront it head on. So look, if you're a nerd, I'm not calling you an asshole or a misogynist or anything like that, okay? I'm not here to attack you and tear you down. But if you're already discrediting my opinion because I said I'm a feminist, then we need to have this talk. Because I love nerd culture. I love that there are passionate people that can unite together around a shared love for certain things. I love smashing. I mean, playing Super Smash Brothers for hours with my friends. Nah, dude, dude, don't do that. That's basically proving to everybody watching this video that you don't play any video games at all. Hey, you guys like playing that brand new game Super Smashing Brothers, don't you? Am I right? <laughs> I like to play as Zelda. And nerd culture is a huge, complex thing that can never be boiled down to one person or one train of thought. 
but it does tend to be mostly straight cisgender men. Did he just say cisgender straight men? Oh, I had no idea it was straight cisgender men behind this. The only thing worse than straight cisgender men are straight cisgender white men. If only we could find some kind of way to get rid of all the straight cisgender men and just cleanse the planet of them completely. Oh, except wait a minute, who's gonna reproduce? But for real, there are days where I realize how far we have strayed from God's light. God has abandoned us, guys. Look at what we've become. Look at what we've done. Like, maybe it's not a terrible idea that we get rid of all the cis straight men, and then nobody reproduces and humanity is over in like a hundred years. Like, all right, humanity, we had a good run, but I think it's time that we just end it. Even if it's by accident, nerd culture does manage to exclude women and LGBTQ plus people in a bunch of different ways. And that sucks, because nerd culture is supposed to be the culture of the neglected. It's supposed to be the culture of the people who were never popular in high school, or who didn't have a lot of friends, or who were bullied for one reason or another. As a culture basically founded on being outcasts, I think it's absolutely necessary that we are as open and accepting as possible. Otherwise, nerd culture becomes just as mean and elitist as the people who bullied us in high school. Like what? Where is this even coming from? I mean, I went to high school like most people and I wasn't a loser. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, buddy. But video games weren't this thing for like the outcasts and the losers and all the bullied kids. Honestly, nowadays it's weirder if you're that one guy that doesn't play video games. Like WTF, bro, it's 2016. Like basically everybody I knew in high school was playing a ton of video games. It's not like there was just some random loser kid, Steven Glansberg, sitting at the table by himself. Oh yeah, that kid plays Halo, what a loser. Hey guys, let's go talk about football and bully the nerds. <laughs> like, did this dude watch way too many 90s sitcoms and just assumes that's what high school is like now? If you consider yourself a nerd, all I'm asking is that you hear me out and listen with an open mind and try to imagine what it would be like if you were a woman or a part of the LGBTQ plus community. So here it is, five ways you can help nerd culture become more inclusive. Number one, don't act like it's a miracle if a woman or a girl likes video games or other nerdy things. Okay. I know that my skit in the beginning of the video was a little exaggerated, but just a little bit. I've actually seen people act that surprised when they find out that a woman likes video games or Star Wars or anything like that. Even when it's intended as a compliment, it's really insulting to women. So I'm guessing this is how most of these feminists imagine these situations go down. Hey, what's up, girl? What you doing? I play Call of Duty. <gasps> what? What? I've never even met somebody like you before. What is this? Why? Okay, but this is how that situation would actually go in real life. Yo, know, what's going on? I play Call of Duty. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. I'm not into it myself. Oh my god, you're triggering me. What the f- <laughs> Okay, uh, alright. Even if somebody did act like it was weird, who cares? Like, am I just supposed to never act surprised when anybody tells me anything about themselves? Um, I actually play video games sometimes. Oh, really? That's cool. Oh my god, why are you surprised? Like, if a guy comes up to me and says, hey, I like Twilight. Like, I'm gonna act a little bit surprised about it. It's not a big deal. Like, am I just supposed to know everything about everyone the second they come up to me and not act surprised? about anything? Yeah, I was actually an astronaut. I've been on the moon before. Okay. Number three, advocate for more diverse characters in video games, TVs, movies, and books. Even though I love all different kinds of media, there's a problem with most of it. It's a lot of straight white cisgender men. Oh, here we go again. Video games largely feature playable male characters with over-sexualized female characters. Movies like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings have almost no women at all, and most of the characters in all of our media tend to be white. You could argue that this is changing. Women have been playing more prominent roles in upcoming books and movies like The Hunger Games and Divergent, and FIFA 2016 will be the first edition of the game to feature playable female characters, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done for people of color, women, and LGBTQ people. I actually hate this example. Like, sure, I'll agree a lot of video game characters are guys, but most of these feminists are pushing for, like, the stupidest ideas. Hey, why aren't there any female soldiers in Battlefield 1 despite not being historically accurate? Not to mention there's actually quite a few female lead characters in video games now. Oh, but they're overly sexualized. Yeah, I hate to be the one to inform you about this, but so are the guys. Like, you don't hear men complaining that Duke Nukem is too sexy and handsome and is making girls view men unrealistically, or that the actors in Twilight are too good looking for a werewolf and a vampire. Because sorry to invade your safe space one more time and give you a reality check, but most people prefer good looking people in media. Yikes, two Twilight references in the same video, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> Number four, be wary of the language that you use. Have you ever been on Xbox Live? It's like the comment section of the gaming community, just horrible slurs and terrible things that you never want to hear all in one place. I had to quit that thing back in high school. But certain words and slurs genuinely hurt people and make 
make them not want to be a part of the community. For example, if you use rape as a synonym for destroying something, you can cause PTSD flashbacks for rape survivors. Oh no, I better be careful about saying rape in a video game or I'm gonna give somebody a PTSD breakdown. Like, we just need to ban FPSs in general. I mean, there are people that went to war, people that are gonna get PTSD from these games. Oh my god, now that I think of it, I remember this one time that I was a kid and I ran straight into an apple tree and it really messed me up. So you know what? I just cannot have people mentioning apple trees in online games anymore. It's just, it's gonna trigger me, I know it. Number five, don't threaten people that criticize you or nerd culture. I feel like this last one should go without saying, but apparently it needs to be said. Don't send hate messages or rape or murder threats to people who criticize you. Even if you disagree with someone, that doesn't mean that they deserve that. We can disagree peacefully. Even if your threat is hollow, they don't know that. And even if they do know that, it can still take a toll on their mental health. Surprisingly, I agree with the last one a little bit. I mean, the people that raid channels and send death threats go a little bit overboard to the point where I'm actually considering the fact that they might be triggered themselves. But on the other hand of things, if you make a video and post it to the largest video hosting website out there, don't be surprised when people send hateful comments. Like, I'm sure that this video is going to offend some special snowflake out there. But that's just a part of making videos. Shit, that is a part of living in the real world. You know, not getting offended and triggered by literally everything. Besides, if somebody is getting mental health issues from hateful comments on YouTube, maybe you should either A, disable comments, or B, just delete your channel. Oh my god, cyberbullying is so hard to solve. But hopefully the people that didn't get triggered by this video enjoyed it. Basically, the point I'm trying to make is if you're a girl and you like video games, nobody is probably gonna care. Like, I hate to inform you about this, but you're really not that important. So yeah, if you like gaming, you just, uh, you do you. Oh my god, that was so gay. Alright, easily offended millennials, subscribe if you want to, like if you want to, and I'll see you later. I'm kidding. It's, it's just like this declaration. This declaration, right, of male dominance. Stop doing this stuff. Enough!